recording. Okay, well, what you're looking at now is a combination of a screen capture from Second Life as well as the depth buffer that comes with it. Um, I had to do quite a bit of fiddling with it and you see there's quite a bit of artifacts and in fact you can see how depth buffers work. She's a little, she's a little messed up but the overall effect from the angle at which she's meant to be viewed is actually really really cool. You can kind of get a sense of her dimensionality um, but this is the first time I've seen anything close to resembling an avatar in, uh, in the HoloLens uh, from Second Life. It's not the way you would normally do it. It's more like a sculpture in voxels, but uh, it's pretty neat. It's, uh, it's similar to a technique called hulling, which we use to uh, capture things um, using a camera in uh, real space. So this is taken directly from a game. Luckily, uh, well, not a game. It's basically the metaverse, but it allows us to capture things and bring them into the HoloLens and other places. Um, I can't stress enough how great Second, or Second Life is at uh, helping you make really neat stuff for VR and AR. And this is just the beginning. I wish I had more time to work on it, but, um, and I wish it were a little more uh, high res, but I'm only working with a screen capture, and I've made something quite large here, so we can make it even bigger if we want. So, so now we've got Attack of the 50 foot woman here, and she's gotten pretty big. So I'm just going to spin her real quick so you can get a sense of it a little better. You can see that it's really just kind of a shell, but uh, nonetheless, it's really neat to be able to see an avatar from Second Life really starting to come alive. Hmm. Enjoy. Hey Cortana, stop recording.